Alright, so could you come over here for a sec? And this is the old synchronization that we do when we've got many cameras. <laughs> so it's also a great way to know when we both start the video as well. So a series of claps. And that'll come up on the audio with spikes and whatnot, so it makes it easier for me to sync all this up. We are good with Lego Pros. And uh, that's the moment you realise the key is still in the pocket. Oh, behave. <laughs> ah. You're meant to be a professional. No. <laughs> Improvisation is the thing that I do all the time, every time. None of this is planned, none of this is scripted. And so far, so good, it works. <sighs> so far, 1,500 people have subscribed to me. Don't know why. <laughs> there we go. So today, yes, we're going to go over to the uh, dealership, but we're going to take a slightly different route. Ooh, route, whichever one you want to play with. It depends where you are, I think, isn't it, in the country, whether it's a uh, route or route. Yeah, so um, let me just adjust the microphone there, lovely. So I had a lovely. bit of a, a play on the googly goo, because I found the place to ride previously. I've made two attempts to ride there and missed it both times. So Ow. I found out, yeah, there's a very inconspicuous turn-off, which doesn't look like it goes anywhere, but it does. Okay, fair enough. And, and then that's, uh, that's the route we've got to take. That's exactly it, yeah. So oh. whereas it's not the best weather for it, it's still a nice enough view. So hopefully a little area called Aston Abbots won't uh, disappoint us. <laughs> but it does Who mean knows? we've got to go down the A5, up and down the country bunch... Uh, a bunch of country roads. There we go. There's the old uh, timely flub of the words. There's the old English vocabulary returning to you. That's it, yeah. Ah. What on earth is the, what on earth are they doing here? So, I used to love taking this road. Because, um, okay. you know, 60 mile an hour and the whoa, the, the, the blah, 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 the whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the English road, is not um, your strong point today. <laughs> it's my first language, would you believe it? Um, <laughs> no, yeah. no, I wouldn't. <laughs> there you go. So I'm not sure if they're actually widening the road or if they're actually building a housing estate. My money's on a housing estate. Oh, of course. But oh, yeah. When you take a, a 60 mile an hour road where you, like, there's enough space here to, you know, get around cars and do whatever you want with it. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, chug along 60 mile an hour up the, up the middle line here and you're free to no, go no but now problem. it's yeah now it's 30 mile an hour they're doing building works of course so when are we going to get um uncle red merchandising t-shirts cups key rings you know what because i mean cockney's mentioned it way back when and you know i'd, I'd be one of the first to put myself down for a cockney shirt but i just i don't want to sound vain about it and that car nearly had your backside mate Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that that would have been that would have been great for uh, for content, though. Yeah, I, I don't want your bike to be ruined though, and yourself. Oh, very, so, very true. Yeah, a, mi a million views. A yeah. million views. Biker gets rammed from behind. <laughs> yeah, we can see him straddling the white line there. He wants to get somewhere. That's yeah. a shame, isn't it? Because we're going oh. nice and slow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can see over this hedge as much, but uh, oh, so far it looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there's a little gap there. Yeah. Lovely little area Beautiful. this. And a nice tip for you as well: if you come this way and you do a left ear, it takes you all the way up the road over there, and uh, takes you into a little area called Stoke Bruin. No, Stoke okay. Hand. My apologies. Stoke. <laughs> um, which is a lovely little town to ride through. So if you go into there, turn a right. And then you basically end up still in the countryside, and it's just it's just miles upon miles of effectively like this. Okay, that's brilliant, that. But no, going back to your uh, going back to your little merchandising idea. I mean, you, you've definitely got one one customer. I mean, I'd I'd definitely buy it. I'd rep it all oh. across the uh, rep it all <laughs> across the internet. <laughs> the thing is, I'm a sucker for novelty, so I wouldn't want just a mug. I'd want a mug that does something or serves a purpose. Oh, um, like one of like one of those mugs that when it's uh, when you put hot water in, uh, something happens on the mug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 I, love, I love the those. image kind of thing. <laughs> I love those. They're they're so entertaining. Yeah, but it, it's one of those things. 
when you're a relatively small YouTuber and you start making merchandise, um, one thing I learned from watching one or two other people is you have to shift it. And yes. It's not only that, you either pay them to manage it for you or you have a house full of boxes. Now, I don't know of about course. you, but um, I'm not someone who's particularly got space for <laughs> you're, you're not sold on another that idea, house no? of boxes within my house of boxes. I'm happy in my own little space here in this little corner of YouTube, so, you know, I'm... Uh, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the one thing I would compliment um, certain motor vloggers like yourself, you know, you keep out of everything, whereas if you go on some of these channels and you see them all, you know, literally like motor vloggers against motor vloggers just arguing non-stop in the comments and you think, ah, it's not worth it, it's just not worth getting involved in. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I've seen a few videos where I wanted to point someone out specifically. I mean, for example, not naming any names or any specific scenario, but there is a young lad who rides around and he's almost looking for attention. Um, yeah. A car will pull out in front of him, he's got adequate time to stop, slow down, you name it. But he decides to almost ignore the brakes altogether and just hammer at this guy. And you sort of think to yourself, is that, is that really worth it? Is that how you ride? Yeah, is that how you wake up and go to work like that? Because one of these days it will catch him out, and uh, I do not uh, want to be the I do not want to be the guy having to scrape him off the road when it does. Oh yeah, of course not. <laughs> They're not all that bad. <laughs> we love everyone, regardless of whether you're a cager or a biker. <laughs> mm, about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh yeah. lord. It's almost like that stereotype uh, reputation that uh, bikers get in local villages. I don't know if you saw on the uh, on the East Angler news recently, but they did a report sort of around Northampton where uh, there was all these like villagers, if you will, just complaining about like the noise bikers make when they're riding through the village. And um, oh yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, I was like, that is the stereotype that what bikers see, like people who live in the villages think they're like, oh, these bikers with their loud pipes, and it's like you're only passing through but I do get where they're coming from obviously if the nutcase on the R1's ragging past yeah. at 70 miles an hour but uh, yeah that is the stereotype for me you know of these villagers they're just like don't, don't like bikes bikes are, bikes are bad bikes are evil yeah and I can understand like you want to move to a country village somewhere to have some peace and quiet which is great and I understand that there's like you mentioned there's riders out there who will typically go out and try and get the loudest pipes possible and they yeah. won't necessarily run easy through the village either. They will give it some. Yeah. Um, See, so yeah, I can understand that because from my point of view, I like the peace and quiet. I like to have chill time. And if there was a bunch of bikers running through my village, then yeah, I wouldn't be too happy about it. But, um, come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, have some have some common decency. But uh, I don't know. I, like, for me, yeah, like, they definitely We can't... needed to go down there. So we're going to do a Yui. Oh, we're going to do a nice lorry. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> we're stuck between a rock place and... Uh, what is it? No, no, it's a rock and a hard place. Oh, my God, my, my English Rock now. and a hard place, that's the one, yeah. It's all right, I will stick the hazards on. That's all right. After the silver car, we shall attempt Yui. So, no pressure. Sim Onto the gravel. Oh, there we go. Not my proudest go. work. There we go. Look at that. Go on, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, this is like musical chairs down here. <laughs> I bet parking around here is fun. Oh. My word. This is the problem nowadays with all of these, uh, all of these properties. There's just no parking. That's exactly it. I, I honestly Count think it... little turn offs and... Are you seriously stopping there? <laughs> wow, okay. Alright. You've not parked oh. it, love. You've abandoned that car. <laughs> Whew. Oh. Oh, my word. Guys, I want you to know that if I do just come off the bike because I can't concentrate, I'm just crying with laughter, it's because of, uh, it's because of Uncle Red's sass. It's just this amount of sass that I'm getting. <laughs> Civilised sass. Civilised sass. You haven't parked that, love. You've abandoned it. <laughs> yeah. Right, if it's more than six inches from the kerb or you've got a certain angle in your vehicle, nah, -uh, try again. 
if you need to park your car up and then get the bus to the curb, then you haven't parked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, park and ride, what's all that about? It does make you think, doesn't it, what goes through people's minds like when they go, oh yeah, that's solid, that's great, I've done that. Yeah. Like, you haven't, you haven't even attempted. Yeah, nailed it. No, you haven't. Try again. <laughs> Failed. It's where you want to get the old uh, VAR and the football involved. Is that oh, right? this yeah. is it, yeah. Yeah, is that right? No, it's going to go to VAR. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a penalty. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. And then and then we sit around a monitor for 10 minutes while we come up with a decision. That's exactly it, yeah. Or just make oh. it up as we go along, why not? <laughs> Alright, oh. so this next section is going to be a test of your um, stability, let's say. Stability? Oh god. So it's I, want not... you, I, I want you guys to know that Uncle Red did not warn me about any of this before we got on the bikes. He just tells me this as we go along. <laughs> it's fine, it's what I do. So it's not is a it... particularly hard road to ride on, it's just it is a 30 mile an hour, typically. Mm. Typically. Um, but it's hard to remember it's 30 mile an hour. Because yes. there's a part of you that just sort of thinks, oh yeah, this, this is fine, I can gun this, and then you can see the state of the road already. It's, oh, uh, Lord. Yeah. yeah. Thankfully, there's a section of it which is relatively fine, but you can oh. see how many times this has been patched up, filled in. Yeah, they, they haven't really fixed it, they've just kind of put a plaster on it for a while. Yeah, there's only so many times you can fix something with sticky tape. <laughs> Before that's it, it's, uh, it's done forever. That's it, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, yeah, look at the amount of like the cracks and bumps in this road. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I hope you've got sort of soft suspension. Um, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> like I say, I've, I've ridden a few, a few cruisers, but not enough to ever sort of form this overall picture of uh, what the suspension's like on roads like this. Unfortunately, every time I've had one, it's been on normally quite long, straight, dual carriageways and yeah, easy enough roads, but uh, yeah, I, I hope it isn't too bad for you like it is for me. Ah, I've taken this road before, I half know what to expect, but um, I've not really played around with suspension on this because I didn't really see the point in it. No, that's, that's true. I suppose if you have it set up or if it's already at the stage where you're comfortable, um, yeah. then why, why mess with it? I know you were telling me a few a few months back, or maybe even a year ago at the, uh, at the motorcycle show, that... Uh, there's things you can do with suspension, with the height of everything, and uh, that probably might suit some riders. Yeah, drop the bike down a few inches for those with uh, shorter legs, like myself. <laughs> shorter um, limbs. I've not dropped it down, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. Now, that uh, corner did sneak up on me, and I'm hoping it's the right one, because it's, it's a turn-off that's exactly like that. I'm oh, thinking right, it's actually the, the wrong one. The famous, uh, the famous hidden turn-off. Yeah. Has someone gone into that brick wall? Because they've put like a little wooden fence behind the brick wall, <laughs> and then where the brick wall is, it's kind of smashed apart. I wonder if maybe, maybe some cars gone really into that. Maybe it's just really old. Who knows? Yeah, or, or that, I suppose. You know what? Oh. We've got it. This Have is you? the Have one. You? This is the one. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that! <laughs> Took three attempts, lads, but we got it. <laughs> People don't need to know that. We could have put in the video, wow, look at this, first time. <laughs> nah. -uh. Oh, that, oh, that dear. is, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So it's little things like this, you just sort of, you can sit down and appreciate. Unfortunately, the yeah. camera isn't going to pick it up as well, but, you know, I kind of feel sorry for the van man behind us. These two bikes are yeah. 40 mile an hour. It's like, mate, <laughs> look at the view, enjoy it. Exactly, all those, yeah, and, and the fact that about. both of us were waving our arms all over the place, going, come on, look at this, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, ah. Seems seems too nice to be, uh, to be anywhere near where I live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was silly. Oh. Oh, they both went for it. Wow. Yeah. I thought, I thought only one, one of them front. went for it. Nah. That one up front, his back tyre was pretty much, you know, maybe a less than a bike's uh, yeah. length away from the back of that car. 
and there Jesus. wasn't much space between him and the oncoming car either. No, yeah, that that was my main concern. Was I looked at the other side of the road and thought, mm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that. But hey ho. Yeah, each to their own, I suppose. Fine now, now we'll get to tell these lads about their riding. <laughs> yeah. So I say. Yeah, I say that was not good. Yeah, awfully silly of you. Bad biker. I'm pretty sure the opposite side of the road was fairly clear until we got to this point. Oh god, yeah, those two managed to. Those two had it right. They had it sussed. Yeah. Straight in. No worries. Unfortunately, we did it. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. And that gold wing is always here. Oh really? He loves it. Yeah, he loves he it. He loves it. He right. loves it. So we have made it without a scratch, without a dent, without a punctured lung or anything. So uh, <laughs> without a punctured lung. Yeah, it's been a good ride. So um, yeah. well, hope you all have a lovely day. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that's where we can leave this video. So yeah. half an hour, really. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Excellent stuff.